The journey is finally over as Universe Ticket has wrapped up with its 10 episodes. It's quite shocking that out of 82 talented girls who were part of the competition, only 8 made it to the debut stage. It's been a surprising journey, watching these young girls compete and seeing who would come out on top. The 8 winners totally rocked it, and now have a shot at making a big mark in the entertainment world. But before we get into the winners, let's take a look at the final station of Universe Ticket. At the big finale, the eight girls officially got the green light for their debut, and 16 others leveled up to the cool prism stage. It was a wrap for the dream of a worldwide girl group. The showdown featured two teams, the arrangement team and the new song stage team, battling it out for Unicorn's approval. The deal was simple. The team that wowed Unicorn the most would be the winner. It was an easy breezy setup, and everyone was pumped to see which crew would take the crown and move on to the next exciting chapter in the global girl group journey. The real plot twist took place when something totally unexpected just happened. The winning team got the unicorn ticketing power that they could use to create a whole new promotion after the evaluation of their performance. Everyone was excited for a new opportunity and fresh performances, including our unicorn icons. At the final station, the spotlight was on the arrangement stage, and the theme was all about dreams. One was The War of Stars cooked up by Finn K.L. White, and the other was Miracle by Super Junior. Miracle was this super lively and hopeful song just what you'd want to get everyone pumped up in a survival show. The Miracle team had well-known contestants like Bang Yoon Ha, Lim Sao Won, Huang Siun, Jin Hyun Ju, Bei Harem, Lee Sun Woo, and John Jin Young. It was definitely one of the best performances in the show with youthful beats and appearance. Meanwhile, the white team contained iconic girls like Nana, Elijah, Gehli, Kim Sumin, Kotoko, Yuan A, Gabi, Narumi, and Yuri. Their performance felt like it was right out of a fairy tale with the white theme and angelic vocals. However, when it was time for the judges to talk about the performance, Sejong mentioned that she cried as both teams were shining so brightly on stage. The judges commended the girls for their remarkable progress since the inception of the show, acknowledging their transformation into true professionals. The spotlight was on the Miracle Team, earning praise from Sejong, Hyoyeon, and Yona during the evaluation phase, ultimately securing their victory and the coveted promotion that could happen at the end of the episode. A new challenge for the girls arrive as the next day when they entered a practice room, greeted by producers tasked with selecting members for two teams for the upcoming performance. A total of six positions were up for grabs, divided between the dopamine team, featuring an energetic song, and the camera team, prepared by papermakers, characterized by a lively composition with a hip-hop vibe. As the episode unfolded, Alicia secured the role of main vocalist for the camera team, setting the stage for a fierce rivalry with Lee Seowon, who assumed the main vocal position for the dopamine team. The critical killing part role was entrusted to Nana, who faced the decision of choosing between the two teams. Ultimately, Nana opted to join the dopamine team. For the roles of main dancer and rapper, Kim Sumin and Kotoko were selected for the dopamine team. With a lineup featuring experienced and renowned trainees, the girls in the dopamine team held the belief that they constituted the stronger and more formidable group. The stage was set for an intense and exciting performance, with each team gearing up to showcase their talents in the fiercely competitive environment of Universe Ticket. The intensity of the competition reached its peak as Team Dopamine took the stage, delivering a stellar performance that showcased their professionalism and left a lasting impact, truly hitting that dopamine for the audience. On the flip side, Team Camera's lively and charming performance captivated hearts, making it a tough decision for the judges. In the end, the dopamine team emerged victorious, securing the opportunity to select one of the promoted contestants during the upcoming selection time, adding an element of surprise to the unfolding drama. Shortly after these performances, final fan ticketing took place that determined the fate of these girls. The MC slowly revealed the girls from the Miracle team that won the Korean stage and got promoted to unicorn ticketing. Si Zhang then takes on the revelation of the promotion of Bang Yoon-ha, who upgraded to the next level of PRISM, making her the second member to debut with Universe Ticket. The next girl to debut was Nana, who finally became a PRISM level. Afterwards, Gailey became the fourth one to debut with Universe Ticketing. As expected, Lee seo also got selected to debut along with other members. The real nerve-wracking moment for Oyone came when her fate was decided through a fan-ticketing moment, but fortunately, she got to debut along with other members. Lastly, 
Kotoko and Jin Hyeong Ju got selected as the final members to debut alongside other girls in Universe Ticket. With the eight girls debuting soon, the rest of them won't be joining others and might start their individual journeys towards becoming an idol. We wish them the best of luck in the future. With the final lineup being revealed, the reaction was mixed. In regard to the group having half the members as international, some fans revealed that K-pop slowed down a few years ago, and surprisingly, most money for K-pop comes from fans outside Korea, especially in Japan, the biggest market for K-pop. In Korea, fans don't spend as much money, so concert tickets there are cheaper. This means music companies don't make a lot of money from Korean fans. So, even if a group is popular in Korea, it doesn't make a big difference for the market there. That's why entertainment companies are looking to grow and make money outside of Korea. Meanwhile, other fans were just not happy with the selection of girls for certain teams. For instance, one fan mentioned that it seems like the visual unit, especially the song Catalina, was specifically designed for Kotoko. The way things were going makes it look like the producers really wanted her to debut, and the whole setup was probably planned that way. Even if Nena and Samin did really well, it seems like the decision was made in advance to promote Kotoko. That's how it looks, at least. In addition, many are sad to see Wang Xun not make it to the lineup when she ranked number 9 with 36k votes, less than the 8 ranking Kotoko. Meanwhile, some fans had gambled hard on Gay Lee to debut, with having more than 24 million votes in the final episode and a ways top the voting during the show. They are confident that Gay Lee would debut, even the show drop hints of possible elimination. There are also some fans who believed that the show was scripted and how the producers distributed more lines among the members who were going to grab the attention of the judges using their vocals. It did seem weird that one member got more singing parts just because the producers thought her voice matched the song better. It felt less like a team performance and more like a Sia Wan and Yuna show with some backup singers in the background. It's like they were more focused on certain members instead of making it a true group effort. Despite rumors and whispers about the show being rigged, the excitement didn't finish as the girls finally made their debut. The K-pop scene is no stranger to diversity, and the introduction of a new multicultural K-pop girl group adds an extra layer of richness to the industry. Fans are eagerly anticipating what this group will bring to the table and how they will carve their niche in the vibrant and competitive world of K-pop. They are surely set to find their unique spot and shine in the competitive scene, making it all look like a piece of cake. AS fans share their thoughts about the final episode of Universe Ticket. The question of which member truly deserve to debut is bound to spark lively discussion. It's a subjective topic, with everyone having their favorites based on talent, charisma, or personal connection. Make sure to let us know about the last episode of Universe Ticket in the comments down below.